Hi, I am Joan McDevitt. So I own Best Fit Nutrition. So we're literally across the street. I've been there for, this is my 10th year there. I've been doing functional holistic nutrition for 31 years. Yep. And uh, it's great. It's finally catching on <laughs> after, you know, a lot of time, but people are sick. That's what's happening. People are trying to lose weight. They're sick. These diseases that we have now were never 10 years ago, right? When we were in, you know, school, people were not sick. There was no peanut table. There wasn't any of that. So kind of like what's been happening? So at Best Fit, we, yeah, we do weight and everything, but it's much more than that. It's functional nutrition. So it's very individualized because you can't be the group think. Some things you can, but most things you really can't. Um, we deal with stress a lot. <laughs> we deal with workout. We, we don't do any workout. We send people to clubs, just saying. Um, yeah, because she's across the street now. We uh, deal with all kinds of different diseases. We've seen a lot of things from heart disease, cancer. I deal with a lot of autoimmune, lupus, fibromyalgia, RA, um, osteoporosis, osteopenia. Yeah, I know. Um, broken things in the body, breathing issues, digestion is a huge one, headaches, migraines. You name it, we definitely have seen it. We've seen over a thousand clients already um, in you know these past few years. So I'm tired, not really, <laughs> but it's exciting. It really is. It's really great. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about me. So I went to college at UMass Amherst in 1980, but before that I was an athlete in the 60s, late 60s and 70s. I was what I lovingly call a fat, skinny person. So I was never a huge, gigantic human but I did have a lot of health issues. I had a lot of hearing issues. I went to speech therapy for a number of years, um, cognitive thinking, IBS, but who knew what IBS was in you know, 1975? Like nobody. So we did all the treatments, nothing worked or anything else, but I still kept going. I literally, I know it's kind of gross, but I honestly would go six to seven days without going to the bathroom. And that was normal for me. That was my normal. And then you go to the doc and they say, well, that's your normal. I don't remember, you know, that's your normal. Well, it didn't feel normal to me, but I had no idea. But then when I went to UMass Amherst, I studied uh, forestry and biology because I wanted to live in the woods by myself, be a forest ranger. <laughs> that was the plan. Um, didn't work out. Um, it worked out much better. But when I was there, the food was not great, like college food, right? But when I was there, I ate a lot of meat and a lot of cheese and a lot of bread. Anyone else love meat, cheese, and bread? I'm saying me too, right, right? <laughs> so when I was there, the meat was really gross, so I stopped eating it, and my body changed. And I went, I actually feel better and I stopped eating it. So with my thought pattern anyway, in biology and research and that sort of thing, I started getting into holistic health, but you couldn't take courses back then, so I did my own um, backdoor work with that, and I've been doing it ever since. So I am IBS free, saying. Um, but I can actually fall back into it if I go back into my old patterns, like most of us, okay? So that's a little bit about me. So I'm gonna talk about the four body types. This is a lot of my practice. Um, people come in, they really just come in for weight, you know, I want to feel better, I don't have any energy, I'm going through menopause, I'm premenopausal, um, prenatal, all kinds of stuff, right? People come in for all kinds of things. And a, lo a lot of it is weight, but not always. Weight is a symptom of something else going on in the body, especially where you gain it. If you gain it in a certain place, that tells me where organs and glands are involved, and that's how we go deeper. We use the science of the body to heal it, and it's fun. We have a lot of fun in our office. I see a lot of heavy things, obviously a lot of disease comes in, but we have a lot of fun because we see them get well, which is so cool. The, um, just a little plug, the MS clinic at Harvard refers to our clinic now because three or four of our um, MS clients went back and she was like, how are you better? How can you be better? Oh, I'm actually peeling back my medication. Whoa, and this was last eight years. These are the four body types of all of us. I don't know if you can see them. This is the adrenal, thyroid, ovary, and liver. Obviously, they're all organs in the body, okay? So the adrenal one, this is the one that 
If someone's doing this in a room, this will really annoy that person. Strong smells, Yankee Candle, when you walk through Macy's, you know, they spray us <laughs> as they walk by. That person really gets affected by this. These are some of the symptoms of this one. This one, fatigue, insomnia, red cheeks, anxiety, feelings of stress, can't tolerate a lot of stress. If they go home at night and they sit down, they're out. I'm exhausted. But if they keep going, they kind of can plow through it. This was me, by the way. <laughs> uh, moon face, get a little rounder when you start to gain weight. Acne, poor skin, facial hair. This one's got that one thing that always needs to be plucked. So annoying. This one loves salt, cheese, chocolate, sugar, late afternoon and night. Who doesn't? <laughs> right? Needs a cup of joe to wake up in the morning. This one has dark circles under the eyes. This one's inflammation is in the neck area. The traps, the upper traps and the neck area. And I'll tell you why in a sec. Heel spurs, bone spurs, things like that on the feet are this one. This is a high level adrenal body type they're always on. This one has trouble either falling asleep or if they fall asleep dead because they're really tired, they wake up, usually between two and four, this one. Legs feel heavy, especially after exercise, which you guys should pay attention to. You climb up stairs and you feel like you're actually carrying somebody with you. You're like, oh my God, right? It's crazy. Overactive immune system, allergies, chemical sensitivities, somebody sprays Clorox in your house, or strong smells, and oh, I can't take it anymore. Smell memory is a big one with this one. Oh, my grandmother's house smelled like that. Wow, it instantly triggers this one here. Brain fog, moody, irritable, none of us. Buffalo hump, <laughs> this one, I know really, this one starts to get thick right up in here, okay? That's this one. This one, now, men and women can both be adrenal body types. So we're just gonna talk about women, but men can be all of these except, of course, the ovary. Men, our men, were never a thyroid body type until 10 years ago. I never saw a client who had thyroid issues that was a man until 10 years ago. Now I have them, when they get their blood work done, I have them do special tests to see how the thyroid really is, because a lot of men have this now. So this is the adrenal. This one starts to gain the weight here, right between the belly button, right here. And no matter what you do, that is not going anywhere, right? Then it starts to get a little thicker, and we call it um, muffin top. <laughs> we named it instead of get rid of it. And then it starts to go around. And then, you see how this goes right here? If you look at this person from the back, they kind of, they can look like they might have a little weight, but it's usually in the front area. That's why the spine and its brilliance build the buffalo hump to hold the spine up because the weight is pulling it down. How brilliant is that? Right? That's how the body works. Listen, you guys, the body can heal itself. All I do is find the clues and give you what you need and pull the inflammation out slowly, lovingly is what we call it. You can't go in and go, I'm all in because you don't know what all in is. You go step by step. Your body heals, you get encouraged, and then you go all the way. And it's really fun. And it's permanent. I'm into permanent. Forget about it. We don't have, you know, 40 years to be playing with this. Let's get it done. Thyroid body type. Anyone know anyone on thyroid medication? It's half the women we know. <laughs> what is that, right? Half the women that we know are on thyroid medication. This one, which if you know people, starts to look like this one, the kind of the same. But this one starts to thicken up all over. The arms get a little thicker, the breasts get a little bigger. You start to thicken up everywhere on this one right here. This one loves bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, can't get enough carbs, fatigue, generalized weight gain, cold intolerance. This one starts running really cold, even though it's not freezing out. I'm so cold, I can't get warm to the bone. That's this one here. Depression, this one. This one has it too, but this one definitely has it. And I'll tell you why in a sec. Dry skin. I have put all the moisturizer on and my skin is so dry. What's happening? It's because the thyroid has an issue. Um, hair loss. You didn't brush your hair and it starts to come out. Craving bread, pasta, sweets. High cholesterol and low libido. Right? That's a lot of people that we know. These two are very popular, by the way. But let's scoot down to this ovary body type. This is um, kind of a new phenomenon in the last 25 years, this one right here. This one gets everything around her period or ovulation. It used to just be years ago, 
around her period. But now we're finding ovulation and we're finding it in girls 13 and up, which is insane, right? Girls are getting the period now, 9, 10, 11, right? You used to get it like 12, 13, 14. See, so it's going down because of the high estrogen. This is 100. So if you know anyone in this body type, tell them this, okay? This body type must eat animal protein organic. They must do it because of the estrogen. This is completely an estrogen dominant body type. Okay, got that? So this, every single thing goes around the, so it's really two weeks out of the, out of the month, <laughs> this poor thing. This one starts to gain it here. She might have a flat stomach, but she's got some hip going on. She's got some thighs happening and a nice cute bum. And the bigger she gets, see how she, face is the same. The top really does stay the same, but this area gets huge. And we know people like that, right? It's an estrogen dominant body type. The rest of them are not, but this one absolutely is. So you cycle, you're tired, ov ovarian cyst. Women having trouble getting pregnant are always this body type because there's a high level of estrogen in the body. Uh, vaginal dryness, acne, mood swings, I know. Does anyone have kids in the room, girls? Anyone have girls? All right, no? So we know this, right, yeah. So thinning of the hair, everything is around the cycle, but this one gains it here. And this is the hardest body type to lose weight permanently because it's estrogen dominant. It's completely hormonal. If it's completely hormonal, it takes a while to break that up and change the, the structure of the body. Can it be done? Yeah, <laughs> it definitely can be done. This all can be done. And this is the liver body type. I never saw a woman with a liver, full on liver body type until three years ago when two 20 year olds walked into my office. They weren't even friends, like on the same week, blonde, 21 and 22, I could not believe it. And they had every, and you wouldn't look at them, they don't have that, they didn't look like that. But they had a little weight, they couldn't gain it, sluggish, they were tired, they couldn't eat fatty foods, greasy foods, that's this one right here. Had a few red dots on the body. Now women are this one, because fatty liver is the fastest growing disease in America right now. Non-alcoholic fatty liver is the number one. So isn't that exciting? <laughs> I know, right? So can everything be fixed? <laughs> yes, everything can be fixed. That's the beauty of it. But this one, these two little girls came in and they were both horseback riders. And their liver enzymes looked fine in their blood work. I read their blood work. I show them their blood work. By the way, I teach my clients how to read their own blood work. That's what I do. I try to empower you guys to own your own health and your family's health, right? So I said, no, it looks good. But they had almost every symptom. I went, oh my God. And it didn't dawn on me until the second girl walked in. And I went, this cannot be true. What? What? And, and they don't even know each other, both in college, over at Harvard, and someplace, right? So they walked in. I went, you fall off your horse? Like, I don't ride horses. You know, what do I know? And she said, uh, yeah, I fell off. On the right side where the liver is? That's where the liver is? She goes, yeah. I said, did you ever go a really bad fall? Oh my God, I was on my right side. I went, you have a bruised liver. You have a bruised liver. So I treated her as a liver body type. She completely got well. She completely got well. We addressed the liver, the filter of the whole body. All right, so isn't that great though? Yeah. These poor little girls, and they're so cute. But they, were, they started to gain, it was not here. It started to creep up above, when it's above the belly button, your liver is involved, okay? Just to let you know, all right? Because we know, we gain it here, like, eh. And then it starts creeping up, like, oh, that's not gonna be good. So these are the four body types of all of us. You're usually one with a side dish of another. Sometimes people look at them and go, I'm all of them, <laughs> right? I'm all of these people. Can you be all of them? If you're a woman, you can be all of them. You really can. But usually you're strong in one of them. So I go back in the, in the woman's history and go, mm, what were you like in high school? What were you like you know, after that? Do you have babies? What, what's your life? How's your stress level? This one right here handles stress really well, the adrenal one. But remember, there's two sides to every coin, right? This one can get everything done, can stay on. If at night, you know, the family goes to bed. If she gets a second wind, this one can redecorate the house. You can walk in and she's repainted that living room and she is on. She rewrote, you know, the next book she's reading. That's this one right here. That's what I was. <laughs> I still am this one, by the way, but I don't go back into this anymore because it's crazy. 
uh, I know to rest. This one is always on overthinker. Can't stop thinking, can't turn off the brain, okay? Anyone who want to know how to fix any of these? Who wants to know how to fix some of these with food and herbs? And do you know you can actually fix them with food and herbs? You absolutely can. So the adrenal body type, how do you lose weight? How do you get healthy with the adrenal body type? First thing you do, if you are on a, sometimes, they're on a, um, a medication, right? Antidepressant, anti-anxiety medication, okay? I, in my practice, go around medication. I don't get anyone off of them, and I certainly don't prescribe them. So I use food and herbs that go around them. So if they're on something, I know how to backdoor it, which took me a long time to figure it out, but I figured it out, okay? Because it really is a, it's a, it's a soup out there with the pharmaceuticals, because there's so many that I said, I'm not an expert on those, I'm an expert at this. So this one right here, this one, unless you're an anorexic body type, this one is to eat two or three meals a day. No snacking. Ready, write it down. I don't know. If, you, if this is your body type, you know anyone. This one absolutely needs something for her cortisol level. She lives in fight or flight, worry, overthinking. If someone opens the door to the house or something, that person's always awake. My dad used to say, you sleep with one eye open. That's this one. That's this one. This one almost never gets to, you know, really rest. You, this one goes on vacation. It takes her at least three days to go, I'm on vacation. And then you're like, man, now I only have one day left. I should have started the day. <laughs> right? I mean, can anyone relate to that? I'm sorry, but that's me too. I still do that, by the way. Um, I'm trying, truly. So this one right here, because she gains weight here, which is very um, dominant fat area, these are your, what are your major, major glands right here? Your GI is right here. Your pancreas is here. Your spleen is here. Your bladder is here. Your kidneys are all in this area. So the body tries to protect it. The only reason we get fat, you guys, the only reason you gain weight is because the body senses that something is wrong with an organ, gland, or lymphatic system. And it gathers inflammation around to it to protect it. Once you heal that organ and everything's pretty cool, the fat falls off and it doesn't come back. How great is that? I'm telling you, man, it really is. That's what happened to me and that's what's gonna happen to you guys because it's really, it's really easy to do. It takes a while. You need a coach, you really do, because it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's simplistic, you know? So this one right here, she starts to gain weight right about there. This one has a lot of um, gastrointestinal problems. This is the one that's got IBS, Crohn's, um, all of those, right? Leaky gut, SIBO. This one, in a perfect world, we pull her off a of coffee or a stimulant, because this one can't handle any more stimuli. She's already freaking out <laughs> this time. So this one, you try to pull back on that. So if people are drinking coffee, you switch them over to like matcha tea, chai tea. You just back the door a little bit, little by little, so you don't get the headache, and then off they go. It's easier on the adrenal glands, okay? Um, this one right here should have, unless she is an O, positive blood type, which I do take into consideration a little bit, 5% maybe. Unless she's that, should be a lot of vegetables, grain. Oh, my God, evil grain. Evil potatoes, who knew? Yes, oh my gosh, this person can have potatoes. This one needs it. It needs a nice slow burn. That's what this one needs, okay? Tons of vegetables. Vegetables should always be top tier. But sometimes, because this one has a lot of GI issues, she can't break it down. She bloats, burps, has gas. Anyone we know? You eat a meal and you're like, oh, kind of thing. You're like, oh my God, I'm two months pregnant, kind of thing. That's what happened to me. And then they thought I was. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> when you're 17, I'm not, okay? That was a long time ago. So this one right here gets a lot of that. So this one right here mostly needs a digestive enzyme before you eat. Did I bring? Yeah, I have a couple over here. I'm going to talk a little bit about this. Is that okay? The gut? So this one needs it's some kind of digestive enzyme. Maybe not forever. It depends on the person. Thyroid. Does anyone know where your thyroid is? It's right here. So your Adam's apple's here. Right underneath it is your thyroid gland. It's the shape of a butterfly. These two, you're going to love this. These two right here play amazingly well together. This one always turns into this one if you don't heal it here. So you start to get it here, and you're like, well, what? now I'm thickening up. 
especially when you, if you have stress, I don't know, in mid 40s. The 40s are the toughest decade for women. It just is the toughest decade. It really is. It used to be the 50s. It's definitely the 40s now. Now I'm seeing at 38, things are really changing in women because of high estrogen. That's why. So this one right here turns into this one. This one only gains it here, and now she's thickening up. And now I'm exhausted, but I'm wired. Oh, you come home from work, you just want to hang out. Like, I don't have energy to make food, and, but I want to eat it all. That's this one. This one goes 911, takeout. That's this one right here. This one still has her energy. And then she turns into this one. Why? Does anyone want to know why? 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 Love it. Okay. The reason is because the adrenal glands are sitting on top. You have two kidneys, right? And you have two adrenal glands which are on top of the kidneys. Okay. When they start to burn out a little bit, adrenal fatigue. When they start to burn out, they start to get a little bit smaller, a little less nutrients in there and enzymes. So they have to borrow from another organ, the thyroid. The thyroid gives it up. So the adrenal thyroid connection is a real thing. So this thyroid starts to give it up. And what happens? Now your thyroid, your metabolism slows down. You become hypothyroid. Your thyroid numbers go from 1.9, 2.5, 3.7, but that doesn't flag the doc. They go, oh, you're fine. And you go, but I have no energy. <laughs> I have no energy and I'm getting fat and I feel gross and I you know, hate my husband and what's going on with me? The reason is because they won't flag until it's 4.25. In California, it flags at 3.9. All my California docs are like 3.9, we flag. Here in New England, it's 4.25. And then the doc will say, now you need thyroid medication. Medication's supposed to be a Band-Aid, right? And we need it. But it's not supposed to be a forever. It's not supposed to be. So what we do in the practice is we address this one. If these, this person walks in and she used to be that, and now she's this too, I don't address this. I really address this. And this one can never snack. Please write that down. The thyroid body type should never snack because the thyroid body type lives in um, the metabolic crazyville. So you want to turn it on and off, on and off. You don't want to turn it on and off all day long. You want to go on. You feed the system. The body knows what it's doing. It's a 45-minute window, right? You do all that. And then you have another meal where nutrient deprived is what we are. That's really what we are, right? So that one right here, I'll talk about hydration in a minute. This one right here has a very hard time because now she's on medication. Now she's on high blood pressure medication, right? She, might, she definitely has IBS. She's definitely got something going on with the colon. And she can't, you know, she can't have a stool or she's living in diarrhea. So now you've got the balls going up. That's why when we go to the dock, they, don't, they can't address all of this at the same time because it is one person. We're one person. So I'll tell you how I do it. The ovary, I told you again, you know, anyone this body type, any woman at all, even a young girl, if you, she gets her period and she starts blooming here and staying flat here, she's estrogen dominant forever. It's a forever thing. So she needs to eat organic, definitely, any animal protein at all, she needs to eat organic stuff. It's not, I don't have stock in Whole Foods. <laughs> it's none of that. Um, it is the truth. It really is. By the way, organic, can we talk for a sec? Yeah. Organic is really, they can stamp it organic if it's 75% or more. So is it 100% organic? No, it can't be because cross-pollination, you know, systemic going in through the, the roots and everything, bees and butterflies and everything, it's really impossible. So it is 75% or more, right? Make sense? Okay, so this girl, this poor little thing, huh? Do we know women like this that have, you know, they gain it here and they're still flat here? This one will have trouble, not always, but if they're going to have trouble getting pregnant, it's going to be this, this one right here. Everything here, if you figured it out already, is estrogen dominant, right? Hormonal imbalance in the human body. So that's these. Is this interesting? Do you like this? Yes. Yeah, so this is, and this really is the way it is. So when people walk into my office, I read your, your intake, it's what, nine pages long. We sent it over in the email, you fill it all out, you come in, you fill out this little other thing because we like paperwork, not kidding. 
We like that. I get, I get your blood work. I try to ask for two years if you have it, and I read it before you come in. I look it all over and kind of put, I put your puzzle together. I'm looking at your puzzle, your map. You come in, this is where you start, but you are not gonna finish here, because I won't let you. Because people trust me, and I'm sorry, but I'm trustworthy. And we, I've had a lot of people come through, and it's a lot of fun. And I wanted to show you a couple things that I use in the practice, okay? Digestion enzymes, okay? There's a lot of them on the market, um, and people are surprised in our practice that I do not use a lot of stuff because you really don't need it. So I have a, we have a back room, but there's not you know 80,000 supplements back there. So these are one. This is a company I like, Vitanica. You can check them online, Vitanica, right? It's called Bitters Extra. It depends on what your gut's doing if you need this one. This is a powder one. Some people can't swallow. I have people that come in and their esophagus is ripped to shreds. This is another digestive enzyme, okay? This is a good company, North American Herb and Spice. Check it out. And this is one we use a lot. This is from Thorn. Um, this is a Biogest. This is someone that has, you know, IBS or something, but nothing crazy like SIBO and leaky gut cannot take this one. If you know anyone that eats onions and garlic and bloat, they have SIBO. That's how you know. If they can't tolerate, oh no, I can't, not even powdered, instantly you know SIBO, okay? It's small intestinal bacteria overgrowth because those two have so much sulfur in them, the body just immediately rejects it. Like you'll eat it and five minutes later you can watch the stomach grow, right? But you don't have to grow anymore, okay? Digestive enzyme, you were asking for. So this is one from Nordic Natural, which is an awesome company. They might sell this at Whole Foods, this one in particular, okay? So that's that. So this one, the adrenal body type needs something for the adrenals, some cortisol, something like that, depends on the medication. This one needs to not snack unless you're absolutely starving, then this one can snack a little bit. A little oatmeal, maybe a little oatmeal, um, almond butter mixture, this one can help stabilize the sugar, okay? This one right here, which is most of us, this one needs to go to bed at the same time every night in a perfect world, <laughs> okay? So if it's around like 9.30, try to aim for it. Like kind of get yourself into routine. This one can live by the seat of her pants. So this one, routine, doesn't even know routine. Like whatever, yeah, I'm going, I might go, okay, this is what's gonna happen. This one's got all the popcorn thoughts. I better write it down because I'm gonna forget it. That's this one. Okay, do we know anyone like that? Right, right, it's, it's most people we know. I mean, it's just the way it's gonna go. Um, these two are, are they easy to treat? It's all easy to treat if you know what you're doing. This thyroid one right here, this one right here, in fact, these two in particular, these yes, but these two, the number one food to take out of the diet is dairy. Anything from a cow at all. Please write it down. I know, because it's most of our diet, <laughs> right? You did. Did you feel better? I did. Thank you. It is the most, you know, and it's more inflammatory than sugar right now. Dairy. Even if it's, it, well, if it's organic from the farm and they haven't pasteurized and homogenized it, that's something much, much better. And you can find that. In Massachusetts, you really can. You have to travel, but you can find it. And if you find it, freeze it. It lasts for months, I'm saying. In the store, you, they can't sell that, that's impossible. So they do, they pasteurize, homogenize, even if it's organic, sent from heaven, the Lord himself sent it down. No, because what they do is, it says it's grass-fed. If it's, it says, and you should write this down too, if it says grass-fed, oh, that's really good. It has to say grass-finished. That's the law. I know, right? It's so tricky. The marketing is like unbelievable. So it has to say grass finish, which you'll never find one. Well, I can't find one yet. If you do, let me know. Grass finish, that means the cow ate grass, was running around, they have no injections, this and that. Thank you very much. I hope this was fun for you guys, educational.